Hello everyone. Welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. In today's training session, we will be covering SAP controlling. Controlling which is a separate module in SAP FICO part where FI is a separate part and CO is a separate module and we will be focusing on to the SAP controlling in this particular training session. So in the, in the training part, we will be covering the above table of contents. First is overview on controlling, then the controlling versus financial accounting, controlling sub modules overview, organizational structure and the basic configuration steps in controlling. So moving to the overview on controlling, the objective of controlling is to manage the costs and revenues in the organization. Plans and compares the cost to the actual data and prepares the variance analysis. So controlling provides information for management decision making. It also refers to the managerial accounting. Actual data flows to controlling in real time automatically. So let's have an further discussion on the controlling part an overview controlling provides information for management decision making it facilitates coordination monitoring and optimization of all processes in an organization this involves recording both the consumption of production factors and the services provided by an organization controlling in one side can be treated as cost accounting which take care of cost and revenues of an organization. The other side of controlling is called as management accounting to give the necessary information to managers to take any strategic decisions. The main objective of controlling is to manage the cost and revenues in the organization. It plans the cost and compares the plan data to the actual data and prepares the variance analysis and look after why these variance has arised in the organization for that particular part. Income statements such as contribution margin accounting are used to control the cost efficiently of individual areas of an organization as well as the entire organization. So looking up to the controlling and the financial accounting, controlling and financial accounting are independent components in the SAP system. The data flows between the two components take place on a regular basis. Therefore, all the data relevant to cost flows automatically to controlling from financial accounting part. At the same time, the system assigns the cost and the revenues to different CO account assignment objects such as cost centers, business processes, projects or orders. The relevant accounts in the financial accounting are managed in controlling as cost elements or revenue elements. This enables you to compare and reconcile the values from controlling and financial accounting. So let's see what are the differences between controlling and financial accounting. How controlling differs from the financial accounting in SAP. Controlling provides data for internal use while FI provides data for external use. Controlling is not subjected to GAAP or any other accounting legal policies or any kind of a legal rules and regulations. Whereas FI that is financial accounting is subject to US GAAP or for that matter any of the other countries 
legal laws are applicable in the financial accounting part. Controlling emphasizes on the future whereas FI emphasizes on the past. In controlling we look after to determine the cost of the products or maybe for a particular reason or a particular business area for on a future date whereas in FI we look after to the informations which have been in the SAP system or which have been in your particular software for whatever has been punched into that system in the past. Controlling focuses on parts as well whereas FI focuses on the business as a whole. So in controlling you look after to determine the cost of a particular business area or maybe a part of the business, a part of a product or maybe a plant whereas in financial accounting we look after to the accounting as a business as a whole. So the financial accounting has to provide data for external uses that means that in financial accounting the organization has to prepare the financial statements so as to provide to the other external parties it could be the government, the legal authorities, bankers, investors and a lot of other external parties. So they have to prepare the financial accounting for providing them these informations. Whereas in controlling, the controlling has not to follow any such external requirements and a result of which it is purely internal where the managements take care of the controlling so as to determine the cost at different levels for the organizations and that is why this helps the management in taking various crucial managerial decisions it may be on the product on a particular reason or a particular business area or for a plant or maybe for a launch of a new product and a lot of such different things. So the controlling part emphasizes on the relevant and flexibility of data as per the internal requirement whereas in financial accounting must generate accurate and timely data so as to fulfill the legal requirements of that particular country. A managerial accounting which is also known as controlling is a means to an end whereas financial accounting is an end in itself. So moving after to just let's move on to the next and see how the financial accounting is correlating to the controlling. So as in the diagram you can see that on the right hand side there is a subsidiary ledger and these all customers, vendors, human resources, fixed assets and manage, man, material are all a part of subsidiary ledger to the SAP FI. Now whenever we do any kind of a transactions related to these sub modules or subsidiary ledgers whether it is a customer, vendor, asset or material or, or the human resources, a document number is generated and that document number impacts or post to the general ledger finally and from that particular general ledger on the transaction that particular transactions or the data also move to the controlling module. So the data flow from these subsidiary ledgers to the general ledger account and then from the general ledger account to the controlling module and these flows depends upon the different cost elements and the cost objects which we will discuss in detail in the coming next uh, training sessions. So there are number of different sub modules <coughs> which we will be covering in the SAP 
controlling module as you can see in the diagram or the image on the on the screen there are different sub modules to it there is cost element a accounting that is cocea cocea refers to profitability analysis co pca refers to profit center accounting cca refers to cost center accounting opa refers to overhead accounting and pc refers to product costing so we'll be covering these all different sub modules from here onwards in the sap controlling in the next ahead training sessions so what is this cost element accounting cost element accounting provides you with an overview of cost and revenues that occur in an organization most of the values are moved automatically from the financial accounting to controlling and this cost element accounting only calculates the cost which either do not have another expense or only one expense in the financial accounting so it helps in moving the values or the transactions from the fi module to the controlling module the next come up is the cost center accounting cca it contains or it controls the purposes within your organization or within the organization it is useful for a source related assignment of overhead cost to the location in which they occurred so this is cost center accounting is a very important sub module in controlling different cost are been calculated are been incurred depending upon the cost center accounting now moving to the next is profit center accounting profit center accounting determines the profits and losses by profit center using the period accounting or cost of sales approach now in this the profit center accounting is a management oriented organizational unit used for internal controlling purpose where dividing the company in up into profit centers allows the organization to analyze the areas of responsibility and to delegate the responsibility to decentralized units and in this the organization analyzes the cost and the different revenues been earned and accordingly to figure out what is the profit to the organization and how profitable the organization is so this is another important sub module of controlling which we'll be looking ahead in the later training sessions in detail the next comes up is the product costing so product costing calculates the cost that occur during manufacturing of a product or for providing a service it enables you to calculate the minimum price at which a product can be profitably sold so in the product costing will be studying how the organization decides the cost of a product manufactured and once the cost of the product manufacture is known then only the organization can put a margin on it and can decide the selling price so how the product costing is done that will be studied in the co pc that is the controlling product costing part the next comes up is the co pa 
that is controlling profitability analysis profitability analysis analyzes the profit or loss of an organization by individual market segments the system allocates the corresponding cost to the revenues for each market segment this provides a basis for decision making like for example for price determination for a particular reason for a customer selection so for different market segments this can be taken up it can be taken up for the product for a particular customers for a particular reason maybe for even a distribution channel as well and accordingly the profitability analysis is done on that particular section or that particular segment just to look after that how much profit or loss is there for that particular organization for that particular segment so these are the different sub modules which we will be now onwards looking ahead in the next coming up training sessions in detail moving to the next is the organizational structure organizational structure is one of the most important activity when introducing the sap system doesn't matter which of the sap module is been implemented in the sap system the first thing which has to be looked for that particular module is what will be the organizational structure for that particular sap module for the client according to the complexity of the organizational structure and the sap components with which you work you must first analyze the outcome that determines the organizational unit has on the other sap components so this is very important to decide the organizational structure which you will be going to implement for that particular organization or for that particular client as you can see on the diagram the organizational structure for controlling module includes a client a client is a mandatory part for any of the module the next things come up is the company code so the company code you can see there are three company codes in the green marked with the arrow is is assuming that suppose there are three different company codes in that particular structure and this company code is a part of sap fi module which we have already defined when we uh, when we do the sap fi module configurations and then the next things come up is the operating concern so after the company code you must have to define the operating concern and then <coughs> the controlling area so this diagram shows you the organizational structure for the controlling module and you must know that controlling module is always implemented after the implementation of sap fi module fi module sorry so it is important to first implement the financial accounting module and then only the controlling module can be implemented so when once you are moving up for the controlling module to be implemented you must first thing you have to do is to decide decide the organizational structure to be followed so the organizational structure that we will be following is the client at the highest level and then the operating concern then the controlling area and the next things comes up is the company code so moving on let's discuss this one by one what are these different organizational structure the one is the client the client is the highest organizational level and you can set up more than one company codes for in a particular client so in one particular client you can have n number of different company codes which can be created and can be used so moving to the next is the 
company code company code is the smallest organizational unit for which a complete self contained set of accounts can be drawn up for external reporting a company code we have already discussed or you would have done when we have when you have done the sap fi module part where we need to define the company code which is a mandatory requirement for financial accounting the next come up is the operating concern now the operating concern is represents an organizational unit in your particular company for which the sales market has a uniform structure it is the valuation level for profitability analysis or more you can say as of is profitability analysis is utilized as a management tool to analyze the specific markets or business segments so this operating concern is used when the profitability analysis module has to be implemented profitability operating concern is used only for the profitability analysis part else it has no relevance with any of the other controlling part the next come up is the controlling area a controlling area is the central organizational unit within the co module organizational unit in an organization that represents a closed system used for cost center accounting a controlling area contains may contain one or more of the company codes which can operate in different currencies if required the company code within a controlling area must use all must all use the same organizational or operational chart of account all internal allocation transactions refer only to the object from the same controlling area so in simple terms a controlling area is the central organizational unit within the controlling module we'll see about the we'll discuss about the controlling area once we are in the configuration part where we have to create or maintain the controlling area for the company code as well so this is about the organizational structure moving on to the configuration step where we will be doing the organizational structure configurations or you can also say it as to be the basic settings for controlling part so in the controlling part we'll be first maintaining the controlling area and which includes three sub parts that is basic settings activate components control indicators and then the assignment of company codes second is maintain number range for controlling data so for each controlling documents which will be created the number range has to be defined for them and then maintain the versions which includes general version definition and setting for each fiscal year so we'll be discussing this whole configuration one by one in the sap system so let's move on to the first maintain controlling area so before moving to the controlling area let's understand what is this controlling area is all about controlling area is the central organizational unit within the co module it is representative of a contained cost accounting environment where cost and revenues can be managed if the organization utilize the co that is the controlling module then the organization must configure at least one controlling area one at least one controlling area is a very much mandatory requirement for implementing the controlling module in sap
So prior to beginning any configuration on the controlling area, it is important to understand the relationship between the FI and CO part and between the controlling and the operating concern. The relationship between FI and CO, the link between FI and the CO is established through the assignment of company codes to a controlling area. A controlling area can contain multiple company codes. Assignment. A com particular company code can have more than one company codes as a relationship. But you must note that a company code can be assigned to only one controlling area. You cannot assign more than one controlling area to a particular company code. So, a one company code can be assigned only to one controlling area and that is what is the relationship which is very much important while going for the configuration. Whereas moving up to the relationship between the controlling area and the operating concern, operating concern operates in the profitability analysis or also known as COPA environment. An operating concern may contain multiple controlling areas but a controlling area may be assigned to only one operating concern or one to many relationships. Also, if you are thinking of creating more than one controlling area, you must keep in mind that there can be no cross controlling area or cross operating concern postings standard within the system. In terms of SAP best practices, it is recommended to have only one controlling area. You should have a strong overriding reason to establish more than one controlling area. Such reasons could be like the company have more than one business line and this business line have absolutely no integration between themselves. So they are totally different from their different other businesses and in that case there could be a separate controlling area defined for the company code. So this is about the controlling area, how controlling area is related to the FI module and how the operating concern and controlling area are related to. Now moving on to the configuration part. The first configuration is to maintain or to create a controlling area for the company code. So moving on there are three basic steps within controlling area. First is the basic settings has to be defined and then we need to activate the components or the control indicators. The next come up is the assignment of company codes. And then we'll move after to the SAP screen and we'll see how these configurations can be done. So moving on to the configuration, there are two options. One is to move with the menu path where there is a path by which we can reach to the maintain controlling area screen. And the another shortcut way out is the transaction code. If you are an initial or you are a beginner in SAP controlling module, I would recommend you to go with the path because the transaction code is a shortest way out that can be used and that can be done later on whenever you want. But the path should be something which you should be known of. So moving up with the SAP path, menu path on the screen to the SAP system, the path says first is the SPRO and then the reference IMG then controlling and then general controlling. So let's see. Now you must know that whenever you go for any customization in SAP, you must have to execute the transaction SPRO. SPRO is the most important transaction for any consultant because this is the only transaction by which you can reach out to the customization path. So executing to the transaction SPRO, as this is the transaction screen, you have to enter the transaction over here. So we have assigned entered the transaction code and once you have entered 
you can enter on the keyboard or there is a green tick mark over here this is also means enter so you can click on to this enter over here so as we clicked the system takes you to the next screen and it says customizing execute project so this screen is your customizing screen in this screen you need to go to SAP reference IMG once you click on to this SAP reference IMG now it will take you to the next screen and you can see on your screen that this is display IMG now display IMG IMG refers to implementation guide this screen is an implementation guide for any module because this screen is the only screen where you will find all the module tabs whichever module you want to go for you can move to that from this particular screen for example if you are you want to move on to the financial accounting there is a financial accounting tab if you want to work on controlling there is controlling if you want to work on sales and distribution module there is sales and distribution there is material management quality management plant manage uh, maintenance so these are different modules and even more as you can see on the screen so what we need to go for is the controlling part as you can see over here so we need to go to this controlling and we need to expand this tab over here you can see over here so you need to expand this just in front of this controlling so the path says you need to go to the reference IMG then to controlling and then to general controlling so this is controlling now in controlling we need to expand this over here and once we expand you will find the general controlling part so you need to go to general controlling and again in general controlling you need to go to organization and then maintain controlling area so now we would be execute expanding the general controlling part and in that we need to go to the organization and expanding organization and in this you will find that there is a first configuration step maintain controlling area so you can see there are further more steps below to you in that organization tab this organization itself refers to the organizational structure which also known as organizational element so you need to define these different configuration steps so moving to the first one that is maintain controlling area that is where we are maintain controlling area now we can move on and we can execute this symbol over here which you can see on the screen we need to execute this so once we click on to this this will be executed and once I clicked I executed that particular step you can see a new pop-up screen has been displayed on your screen now So now we need to go to this maintain controlling area as we need to maintain a controlling area for the company code. So we need to double click onto the second option that is maintain controlling area. So once we double click on it as you can see now a new screen has been generated in front of you and in this we need to go and we need to click onto this new entries to access the controlling area details configuration screen so once you click on to this new entries you will find a new screen has been on your screen now where you will find a whole empty screen where no details have been filled which is what you need to fill because this is a new entry part so there are a number of different fields one is a controlling area name person responsible so let's discuss one by one you can identify the required fields as those that have a check marks so there are certain fields which have a check marks on your screen and these all fields are the required entry in SAP that means you must have to fill these 
particular fields at list so as to create the controlling area so now moving on to this controlling area first in this controlling area you need to enter a four digit alpha numeric identifier for your controlling area if your controlling area will contain just one company code in that case we can select the option for controlling area that is one to one relationship to the company code that is this on just next to your screen this controlling area is equal to company code that says one to one relationship of controlling area to the company code but if you indicate that there is more than one company codes to a controlling area then assigning only one will not cause any system issues however if you do indicate that there is a one to one relationship between controlling area and the company code and then going back and having to change the settings will be difficult so if you go for this option on your screen controlling area is equal to company code it's difficult for you to come back and change the setting later on so it's better would be that if you just confirm that it will be a one to many relationship so that if you need it it will be available for you in the future so what we will be doing is we'll be creating one to many relationship so the controlling area which we we have to take is a four digit alpha numeric code so the code that i would be taking up right now is 1200 that is my company code code as well now the next come up is the name you have to enter the description of your controlling area so the description over here for the controlling area can be controlling area for 1200 or even you can write it so there is no multiple space available so this is what i have written up as a name or as a description of the controlling area the next thing next field is the person responsible here you need to name the person responsible for this particular configuration so the name of the person has to be assigned and however it is not a mandatory field as you can see this is not a tick mark so even you want you can leave this field blank so suppose right now i have been taking the name over here as colleen for example now moving to the next is the assignment control field in this the next field come up is the company code and the controlling area now this field is used to define the relationship between the company code and the controlling area you will have identified this relationship when you determine the controlling area id over here on the first tab only so in this you need to select the drop down options so there are two options in front of you when you go for this drop down over here the one is controlling area same as company code and the second is controlling cross company code cost accounting so remember that the combination of the assignment control selection and the currency type sorry now here we have to take one to one relationship between the company code in the first case and if you go for more than two company code assignment with the controlling area in that case you should go for a cross company code cost accounting so as discussed in the first option that the better option is to take a cross company code cost accounting so that in the future even if you want to use the same controlling area with a different company code you can use it and the system will allow you to use it but in case you define a one to one relationship it will be difficult and the system will not allow you to use the same controlling area with a different company code so moving to the next field is now currency settings so in the currency setting part the first field come up is the currency type 
this setting defines the type of currency used throughout the controlling area. Cur currency settings can be confusing. Remember that the combination of the assignment control which we have defined over here selection and the currency type which we will be defining over here define the controlling area currency and depending on the settings defined then the other company code currency indicator is activated. So if you have selected suppose over here we let's see the options available for the currency type so we can go for the F4 key or as on your screen there are number of different currency types options on your screen so one is company code currency the second is controlling area third is group currency fourth is hard currency fifth is index based currency and sixth is global company currency so which of the currencies we would be using it over here the first one that is the company code currency is used if all the company code assigned use the same currency the second one is offers the use of a possible group currency for the controlling area so the controlling area currency allows the controlling area to identify a specific currency for only that controlling area all other selections impose artificial constraints so rest of these below different other currency types are not used what is used is the first or the second that is 10 or 20 in most of the cases so the one we will be taking up over here is the company code currency as we will be taking the company code currency as the same as that of the controlling area so we'll assign as 10 that is the company code currency over here on the screen so as we assign you can see in the very next screen the currency system has automatically taken the currency over here so the entry is made directly when we selected the company code currency and the currently uh, the system has decided the company's currency as UST now moving to the next is these two fields are deactivated we don't need to have the use of them again moving up to this next screen that is currency valuation profile with this indicator the currency and valuation profile determines which valuation views can be stored in which currencies you will need to assign a currency and a valuation profile to a controlling area only if you are looking to store multiple valuation views in the system so this is something which is an advanced part which we will not be using it as of now we'll be moving to the next part that is the other settings as of now and here we need to select the chart of account now so in this we will be taking up the chart of account which will be assigned to the controlling area so one thing you have to remember that all the company codes assigned the same controlling area must use the same chart chart of account that simple is that the same chart of account should be used with all those company codes which has been assigned the same controlling area so right now for our own company code 1200 the chart of account which has been assigned is we can go and we can have a look of that so the chart of account which we have created and assigned is 1000 so it is what the chart of account we have taken up the next is the fiscal year variant so fiscal year variant must be the same with that of the company code so the fiscal year variant which is assigned to the company code the same fiscal year variant has to be assigned over here to this particular controlling area so now I don't know what is the fiscal year variant I had assigned to my company code so I need to go and I need to cross check so we need to go to the trans a new session so I am moving to the transaction OB Y6 and in this you can, I can go to my company code global data 1200 double click on that and now I can see that my 
fiscal year variant is yy as you can see on the screen so i can move to the next screen over here and i can assign my fiscal year variant to the particular controlling area that is over here y y so that is what i have assigned to it now the next point come up is the controlling standard hierarchy so in this part we need to create a hierarchy for cost center standard hierarchy so the hierarchy we have to create now over here so whatever the code which we will be assigning on the screen that will be created as a standard hierarchy in the SAP system. So let's take the hierarchy as to be A1000. Now moving on to the next, the rest of the fields we are not required to do as of now because we are not activating the reconciliation ledger as of now. We will see that in the separate training session how the FI and the CO reconciliation is done. So these are the basic things which you need to fill in the controlling area part. The first is the controlling area. Second is the name. Then the person responsible. Controlling area to company code relationship. Then the currency type, currency. And then the chart of account, filled fiscal year variant. And then the cost center standard hierarchy. So once we have done this, we can move on and we can save this screen. So once we save, this is the basic settings which have been done. So Colleen is the name which has not been taken up by the system. So the name which can be taken up by the system is the one which is defined as a username. So the username which we have defined in the system, we can have a look to this. So there are these number of different usernames which have been defined into the SAP system. So you the person who will be defining the controlling area with his own user ID that particular person can be taken up over here so there is a huge list of different username on the screen and either of these any one can be taken up for or even it can be left blank so right now I'm not taking any person responsible and now will be will enter on the screen so once you enter the system give ask you something and that is that do you want to create any standard hierarchy so we need to click on to yes because the standard hierarchy does not exist so whenever you assign the hierarchy over here these are the hierarchy which are not created into the system we need to create so we need to click on to yes so once we define on the yes it says the controlling area already exists So you can see the system gives an error that an entry already exists with the same key. That means we need to take a separate or a different key over here right now. So let's take a different key that is uh, suppose I take it as Z100. And now I can enter on the screen. So once I enter and now we can go and we can save this screen over here. Again we have to go to click on yes. And now you can see the changes or the customizations are now being moved to this request and we need to click on to continue so that the request can save all the customizations in it and you can see the data was saved. Now this means that the controlling area basic settings have been completed now. So moving to the next step is assignment of company code or company codes to the controlling area. So to go for this configuration step we need to move on to the SAP system and again the menu path will be the same as we have used for maintain controlling area. So we need to go to the SPRO enter then we need to go to the SAP reference IMG in that we need to go to controlling and expand then we need to go to general controlling expand and then organization and then we need to go to the maintain control area and we need to execute this tab over here so once we click on that this is the screen which comes up in your in your system and we need to double click on to the maintain controlling area so the last controlling area which we created just a while back was z100 so that we can search with the position over here 
and this is the controlling area on the screen as we can see and now we can select this controlling area over here and we need to move up to this particular option second option over here in the basic data that is display assignment of company code or company codes so once we select the comp the controlling area over here now we need to go to assignment of new company code assignment of company code or company codes if there are more than one company code and we need to double click on the assignment of company code so now we can double click onto the assignment and once we double click on it it takes you to the next screen as you can see on your as on the screen that there is no company code the controlling area is Z100 but there is no company code been assigned on the screen so we need to assign the company code to the controlling area so to assign the company code to the controlling area we need to go to the new entries click on to the new entry button as on the header over here so we need we clicked on the new entries now we need to assign the company code as in the screen over here in the assign company code part so from over here you can search your company code with the search option or else you can directly assign the company code on the screen so we can take this the company code directly that is 1200 is the company code which we have to assign to the controlling area so once you have assigned you can enter on the screen and you will okay So the company code entry column in the assignment box is empty and we assign the company code over here as 1200 for the posting and we need to manually enter the company code in this particular assignment field for assigning it to the controlling area. So you can see on the screen we have assigned the company code over here and if there is one company code you can assign one company code on the screen if you have got multiple company codes that is more than one company code you can assign further to these different rows as under so that is what you have to do and once this has been assigned over here then we can go and we can save the screen and once the screen is saved you will see that the data was saved the message is generated that means the controlling area Z100 had been assigned to the company code 1200 that is IBM LLC. So now this is the next step which we have completed. Now we need to move on to the next part that is activate components or control indicator. So to activate the components and the control indicators again we need to move on to the SAP screen the path is again the same so now we need to go to this activate control component or control indicators over here on the screen so we need to move on and we need to double click on to this activate components or control indicator as you double click on it it will take you to the next screen and you can see again over here the existing fiscal year is blank so in this case now as I double click on to the activate components you can find this screen as on the system and there is no fiscal year intervals has been assigned to this particular controlling area. So what we need to do is now we need to go to this new entries over here on the header and once we click on to the new entries you will see that a new screen has came up over here for your reference and now in this particular screen we need to fill the details. So the first field in, that, in this particular part is the controlling area which is uh, already been assigned as Z100 which we had defined and we have been customizing the same controlling area for the company code. So now in this the first field which comes up to you is the fiscal year. So in this we need to enter the fiscal year when activation settings becomes valid. So you realize that the in this two field it's a gray part which you cannot fill any details because the system will automatically fill this with the year as 9999 so you need to fill the fiscal year and the first column from when you want this controlling area to be activated so I would be taking this 
fiscal year as 2014 that is the current fiscal year from which i will be activating the fiscal year so if in case you decide that you need to adjust the ending that is the two part of the fiscal year in that case uh, you need to go back into the screen using the change process and then you can change the two field as well in the fiscal year so right now you need to take the fiscal year as 2014 the two part you don't have to assign because it is a gray part the system will take it as 9999 moving to the next step is the controlling area cost center sorry so as we moved on to the cost center you can see that activate components this is what we are talking about activate components so now in controlling there are different sub parts like cost centers profit center accounting activity type order management profit analysis activity based costing so a huge list of different active components are there now you need to decide that out of these which of the components will be activated for the organization so the first is the cost center now the cost center refers to the cost center accounting which is actually right now is inactive as over here the component is not active option is there so once you click on to this option over here there are certain parameters in front of you the component is active is not active is active for validation active for existence validations so what you need to do over here is you need to select the component active part so as to make the cost center accounting activated so this is what we have selected now moving on to the next part is the activity type as on your screen so this activity type now in this you need to check this box over here so as to make the activity type activated and the activity type will be available for posting against the primary cost element so we'll be selecting this activity type as well as on the screen next we'll be moving up is the order management now order management refers to the internal order accounting which uh, will be unavailable until we change the initial entry in the field so the initial entry as of now is component is not active so we need to go for component active option over here so as to activate the internal order accounting so as we selected this the internal the order management now will get activated similarly we'll be moving up to the next that is the commitment management and we'll make this component as active again now profit analysis is already in a deactivated part because we don't need this at this moment we'll see that on a later uh, ahead how that can be done now moving up to the next is activity based costing so we need to activate this part as well so this uh, or we can leave it as well as of now we don't need that so once that would be needed we will be activating that so we'll be activating the components over here and in case any of the component is not activated as of now we can revisit that later on and we can activate that particular component as per the business scenarios and requirement so now moving up to the next part is the we can activate the profit center accounting activate the project so profit center accounting has to be activated so we have selected the profit center accounting the next comes up is the projects that has to be selected so if you are utilizing the project system or you can say the the another module that is project system is a separate module in sap if you are utilizing that project system module then this setting becomes important and you have to select the project system over here the project system integrates with the co module through work back work, uh, through the work breakdown structure that is known as wbs elements and networks in sap system so if you activate the projects into the controlling area the wbs elements in the network networks as real account assignment objects and the co data will get recorded in the controlling part so that's why we have selected the project over here the next comes up is the order sales orders 
so now sales orders if the organization is going for utilizing the make to order production if there is a make to order process in the organization in that case the settings become important to select the sales order so if you are not you not having any order to uh, make to order production in your company then you can leave this blank but in case there is then you have to activate this as all the revenues and the cost will post post to the sales order item therefore the system will create a costing object for the sales order and the CEO will be able to track the revenue and the cost assigned to the sales order number so it is why if there is any make to order process in the organization then you need to select this sales order else you can leave this as unselected moving to the next now is cost objects so if you are or your organization is using repetitive manufacturing within your product cost environment this setting again become relevant the repetitive manufacturing uses the cost objects to plan and track the production cost so we'll see each of these how these are been used into the system but right now if you want you can activate these options or if not you can come back later on and we can activate as per the requirement later on as well so this is how you need to activate your cost center where we have selected the component active then we have moved to the activity type which we have selected then order management is activated component commitment management has been selected and then we need to select the profit center accounting projects and sales orders so once we have done these all part now we can move on and we can save this screen and the these components which we are talking about or the control indicators will get activated for the controlling area Z100 and the company code 1200 so we can save this screen now so as we selected you can see the information control indicator in the controlling area and this is a very critical transport request that's where the message has been generated and we can select on to this continue so once we select on to the continue the settings or the activations have been saved in the request so you can see that the data was saved so these components have become activated into the controlling area now moving back to the next So we need to move back and now we can close this pop up screen over here and we have moved to the path. Now moving up to the next that is the next configuration step. So we are done with the maintain controlling area. We have assigned the basic settings then we have assigned the company code to the controlling area and we have activated the different components within the controlling area which will be used for the company code. Now moving on to the next configuration step is to maintain the number ranges for controlling documents so within SAP all postings are tracked through the assignment of a document number as we have seen in the SAP FI module as well the document number assigned is dependent upon a couple of factors the activity used to update the controlling file and the number range assigned within the controlling area the number range assigned can be internally generated by SAP or it can even be flagged to allow external updates however it is recommended to have the SAP generated numbers internally so it is advisable to maintain the number range in the SAP system that so that the SAP system can generate the internal number instead of external number so how we would be defining this number range is the next part which we'll look after too now for this we need to move on with the screen as on you as on the screen the menu path has been provided where we need to go to the controlling then the general controlling and then to the organization and the next step is maintain number range for controlling document so you can see over here now we can move on to the screen there is controlling then the general controlling 
then organization and in the last part we just have completed the maintain control area now the very next step is maintain number range for controlling documents so now there are two options to create the number range one is you can copy the number range directly from the another controlling area or the another option is you can create new document number as well so the best part which can be preferred uh, as of is you can move on to this number range we can execute this particular customization step and now in this we can move off to copy over here so if you want you can copy this so we can go to this copy option and we can select from which controlling area we want to copy the number range so we can move on to the screen and you can see on there are different controlling areas on the system so I would be taking this 0 0 or even we can take is okay I would be taking this triple zero one as on from which I would be copying it to my own company code or the controlling area so the controlling area now is for is Z hundred as we have created and then we can click on to this copy option over here and the number range will get copied so this is one of the option of copy else you can cancel this and you can move on creating your own number range manually so for that you need to go for this control area you need to assign your control area over here and if you remember it that's great else you can go and you can search with the options so you can move on and you can search your controlling area that is over here controlling area for 1200 which we had defined so we can select this over here so once we have selected the number range now we can go for a display option just as a cross check so once you click onto the display you will find that it is blank as of now so there is no number range defined as of now on the screen so to create the number range now what we need to do is we first need to so we need to go to click on the groups as on your system at the header you can see over here maintain so this basically refers to maintain groups button so we need to click on click on to this maintain groups so I clicked on to this maintain groups as you can see so once we have clicked on to the group now we need to go to the on the top as a menu screen menu item and over here we need to go to this group over here and once we go for this group we need to click on to the group and once we click you will find that there is an insert option maintain text and expand so we need to go to click on to the insert option over here so once we click on to the insert now you can see a new screen has came up on the system so over here we need to maintain the text for that particular group which we are maintaining so over here you can fill the details so suppose I fill the detail like uh, number range for 1200 and you can maintain the number from and to on the system so suppose I maintain the number over here like this to So this is how I have maintained the number. And now once you have put the text and you have maintained the number range on the screen, now you can move and you can select this plus sign over here. So as you click on to this insert option over here, now the number range will be inserted into the system. So you can see that the number has been taken up over here on the screen. So this is how we have assigned the number range and we have inserted the number range on the screen. Now what we can do is there are two number range which we have defined. Now we can select that and we have to assign the objects from over here. So which object has to be assigned that has to be taken care like one is over here is C O I N which is used for 
generating the document number in CO for the documents which have been posted from the FA module. So we need to click on to this option over here and then we need to go to the select option, select element. So these are different elements on your screen and you need to click on any of them which you want to assign this particular number range to. So once I click on to this first element and we need to go to the select element so you will see the change that this particular element will become highlighted. So once I click on to this select element you will see that this has been highlighted now and now I can go for this element assigning this particular element to this particular group which I have created the number range for 1200. So once I click on to this element this particular element COIN will get assigned to my number range 1200. So you can see now the not assigned part has moved to the assigned part. So the number range which I have created for 1200 will be used for this cost element that is COIN. Similarly if you use you want to use the other elements for that particular number range that can also be done. So right now we'll be using this part and now we can move on and we can save this screen and now the number range is created. So this is what we needed as of now to assign this particular element COIN to the system. So this is how you have to assign or maintain the number range for the group. So even if you want to see you can go to this display groups and you can see the number range on the screen with the display option. So you can see over here this particular first group we have created has been assigned this this particular element to this. The rest of the elements you can see over here is written as a detailed non assigned element. So this is how the assignment of uh, these element has to be done with the system. So that is why it has been said that there are two ways or two methods for creating your assignment groups or the number range. One is copy from an existing controlling area that is 0001 or creating a new group from scratch. It is far easier to copy a group as recommended in this approach we have seen while copying 0001 for the, com for the controlling area Z100 but we have not did that. We have uh, seen all these steps for that and we went on creating it from the very scratch so we maintain the group we assign the number range and we assign the element to that particular number range group so this is how you would be assigning the number range to your controlling area now moving up to the next is maintain version so maintain version now what is is mean by this version Version is the collection of fiscal years dependent control indicators. So whatever the control indicators which you have activated in the configuration steps earlier, they are taken up or they are dependent on the fiscal year as a whole. And the fiscal year has to be maintained by maintaining the version. These versions are used to process the plain plan data and the actual data within the controlling area. The different application components uses different version to process the information. SAP has defined so many version which are useful for different application components. So with the creation of controlling area the system carries a zero version for default for five years. The five year period will depend on the year you have opened for the controlling area. So we'll see how this has been done in the SAP system. So if you move on to the SAP screen, again the path is similar. First, uh, after the number range, now the next option comes up is maintain versions. So now we can execute the maintain version over here and we can execute this particular step. So once I click on to the execute, it takes it to the next step as on the screen. Now in this we have to select the version 0. So if the organization wants to make the comparison for the plan and the actual 
data in that case we have to select the version 0 the version 0 is the only version where the actual transaction data is posted the SAP allows you to maintain the numerous planning version as you can see 1 2 as below or even you can create new versions as well and all the versions are controlling area independent this means that whatever the versions as defined on the screen or can be created new all are maintained at the client level and thus are available to any controlling area in the client so to complete the base CO enterprise configuration we need to configure the version 0 as over here on the first option for the current fiscal year and for the profit center accounting so we need to select this version and then we have to move up to the next over here in the control controlling area setting setting for each fiscal year so as you can see on the right hand side there is an option of setting for each fiscal year we need to double click onto that particular option so double click on it so double click on the setting for each fiscal year as I double click on to the option it asks you for the controlling area so you have to assign the controlling area Z100 then continue or enter so as I entered it took me to the next screen as you can see in this whenever you decide a particular version 0 the system automatically takes the five next five fiscal year for the controlling area now in this particular part we need to select copy allowed for all of them so that all the transactions can be copied in the controlling area so the first column is the fiscal year which as said that whenever we define a particular version 0 the system automatically takes the version for the next five years now the next part comes up is the version logged now in this field if we make this particular field active in that case the planning will be logged and you will not be able to plan for the controlling parts like the cost center planning or the profit center planning therefore we will not be activating these options this setting is useful if you want to freeze plan values after a certain date so that no one can change the plan values after once a plan values has been determined and has been assigned in the system next is integrated planning now if you want to activate this then transfer plane data from the cost center to the controlling or to the post profit center accounting or to special ledgers can be done since no plane data plan data exists in this version yet we will not be activating this particular part as well so as and when it will be required we can activate we can come back to this particular customization and we can activate that the next comes, comes up is the copying allowed so select this field if you want to copy the plan version to one another we recommend that you activate the settings because of the flexibility it adds to your planning capabilities with copying allowed activated a company can easily maintain multiple planning scenarios copying the information from one to another and then making the version specific changes so it is advisable to select the copying allowed as on the screen and once we have done this we can move on and we can save this screen so once we have saved the versions have been created for the controlling area so this is what we have completed now so we have completed all the three basic configuration steps of controlling that is maintaining the controlling area 
maintaining number ranges for controlling documents and maintain versions. So that is it for the today's training session. We'll see in the next training session with a new topic. Till then.